Well, hello guys. This is Pilot Steve with the new Lance Air Legacy. And today is training day. So my instructor is due in here in about 30 minutes. He's flying down and we're gonna spend two days in the airplane and get me up to speed. So I'll take you along on that and show you what it takes to um, do the training. We're gonna do some ground school first probably. Go through all the systems and emergency procedures and all that good stuff. And then uh, after that, start the flight training. Turned out to be a beautiful day. It's rained every day for the last two weeks. As you can see from the size of the puddles here. But um, today is nice and tomorrow's supposed to be just as nice. So I think we'll get some good flying in. Plane's all ready. Um, just getting my uh, headsets and cameras and audio and all that stuff set up. And, um, we'll be ready to go here shortly. So, looking forward to it. And um, we'll see you on the ride. It's Pilot Steve. See you in the next video in the air. All right, guys. Pilot Steve here, first flight of the Lance Air. And, uh, you can see I've got a couple guys gonna fly it for me and make sure everything's good to go. And then I'm gonna get trained. So, actually, the guy on the right seat is a Lobo instructor, and uh, they have a very rigid training standard, which is good, and my guy on the left seat is a CFI from the local area, who is actually a Honda Jet instructor, he's one of the few certified to do it in the U.S., and uh, he is going to get two hours, and then we'll be able to train me which is good, so. Um. So did he tell you what the, uh... All right, okay, fuel quantities right here, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. And we gotta say this way, right? All right, and I guess it doesn't really matter. It's always interesting to get in a new plane and uh, not know how the avionics are wired up, which is kind of where we're at now. So, you guys are going to kind of discover all that. And, yep, and it sounds just like every other IO550, the prime, the engine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And we're cracked in.
Hello guys, Pilot Steve here. I was hoping to do my training today in the Legacy, but it is an airplane. So, as you can see, the last thing you saw was it looked like it was running pretty good. But, unfortunately, the tachometer wasn't working. I'm getting a big red X on the Garmin. No tachometer reading. Uh, it did pop on and off a few times, but still didn't look correct. So we were hoping it was just a loose wire or something, but the wiring looks good. And we just called it a day. There's the wiring bundle. Wire comes up from the uh, prop governor here and goes up under the engine and comes up into this wire bundle and everything looked good there and the taking the glare screen loose and everything looks good there where it connects up so it's could be a garmin problem um but that's the problem with modern avionics also is that i'm gonna have to get a mechanic to look at it and then probably an avionics person to look at it and see if we can troubleshoot and get that corrected and uh i got a feeling because it worked perfect when the plane got here. It's been sitting for three weeks and it's rained almost every day in this beautiful Gulf Coast humid air. I got a feeling it's probably a connector or a circuit board that plugs in or something like that. But it's got a little bit of corrosion on it and all it takes is to loosen it and tighten it or pull it back out and push it back in and it'll probably work. But we need to get to the bottom of it and see what it is. And so we put the uh, instruction off for a while planes due for it for its annual condition inspection anyhow next month so i'll tell you what we'll do videos while we're doing the annual condition inspection let you see more of the airplane if we get it opened up and then we'll uh we'll do the training and let you see how that goes but that's the experimental world and really any airplane i mean i've had many a trip either canceled or delayed somewhere or stuck somewhere and you just make other plans and just know that uh in the world of private aviation if you got to be somewhere get in a car or fly commercial if you got a few days you can work around it one side or the other then you know you can go early go late something happens uh, rent a car and get where you need to go but always have a plan B for your trips in general aviation because things happen. And um, I've been doing this for over 40 years now. And you just get used to it, it doesn't bother me. But since we got it all opened up, I'm gonna leave it open and get the mechanics over here. Today's a Saturday, get the mechanics over here on uh, Monday, get towed to the maintenance shop and start the annual and see if we can get all this stuff worked out and get it perfect so when my instructor comes back we'll be ready to go so anyhow this is pilot steve with the lance air legacy signing off and uh i'll see you in the next video